What's up? Welcome to my video. Today we're going to be talking about how to properly start your weight loss program and cutting program the right way and be 100% successful. All right. So what I want to actually start with is how to properly set up your home to start your program to eliminate any negativity that would prohibit you from staying on your program properly. First step, those of you who have that cupboard or that pantry, that stash, you know, some of you have kids in the house. This is time where you get everything out of your house that would cause you to cheat on your program. Okay. Now, if you're strong and you're smart, for example, if you designate a separate cabinet for your kids, you know, where all their junk food is or where their stuff is and either forget about this cabinet or this is not your cabinet. This is the cabinet that you should classify as your children's. To be successful in a program, you cannot cheat on your program. The surefire way to stay on your program and to always feel good and to help keep the motivation necessary for you to be 100% successful is to stop putting junk in your body that would cause your energy levels to plummet, causing your motivation levels to drop. And when you don't see weight loss, that's gonna demotivate you some more, all right? So that includes anything in the refrigerator, get it all out, okay? Make sure that it's just not overloaded with junk, clean it out, make sure it's only got healthy stuff in there, no fruit snacks, no, no things that, such as chocolates, no desserts, clean everything in your, in your cupboard out, okay? So best way to stay successful in your program is try to get all the negative elements out of your life that would cause you to screw up. The next thing to do is make sure that you go to the grocery store and I'm gonna show you that as we approach the grocery store, some of the common things that you should get to start your program. These would be some of the foods that should be the baseline to start your program and be successful. I'll be right back. Another consideration you need to take. Make sure you have an adequate workout program established. You should have a day one, a day two, a day three, if that's how you're starting off, three days a week with a day of rest in between is sufficient. Each week you should be trying to find ways to increase your intensity, increase your volume, uh, shorten your rest times until you build up to where you want to be, whether it be four days a week or five days a week. Your workout in the beginning is not the most important part of your program. Your workout is your second most important. Your first most important is your food, your nutrition program. Always focus 80% on nutrition, 20% on workout. Eventually it will be 50-50. Always plan ahead, all right? Another good point, calorie deficit. A lot of times people make the mistake when they start a nutrition program, they drop their calories substantially lower than all the calories they've been taking in. Say for example, the average person is taking in between three and 5,000 calories per day, and then all of a sudden they drop their calories substantially to 1,000 to 1,500 per day, small low calorie meals, protein shakes, salads all the time, and then wonder why they're extremely hungry. That's not the way to do it. If you're going to do that, I suggest that maybe you drop your calories by about three to 400 calories per day until you get to a deficit of calorie intake per day. And if you're interested about that, I actually made a video that I'll post right here about calorie deficit and give you a roundabout estimate and maybe some helpful measurements for your food intake for men and women. All right? Don't make that mistake. 
don't put yourself in and make yourself miserable and tired and weak all the time because you've, you've totally done something that your body is just not used to. Great way to carb your appetite for those of you who've been locked on sugar for a long time and a good way to help boost your energy levels to boost your motivation to get started on your program is caffeine. Caffeine has been known to be a great appetite suppressant. It actually helps fuel your workouts and actually can help curb your appetite during the time that you start slightly cutting down your calories. Okay, for me, for an example, and I use this as a pre-workout, I invest in some rings or some bangs. In the mornings, I invest in maybe some store-bought caffeine mixers for my water in the morning so I can help wake up too. However, I am gonna make sure that I still eat my meals I'm not going to allow that to curb my appetite, so I will consume that first bit of caffeine in the morning with the meal so it doesn't shut off my appetite, but I make my foods delicious, and uh, I think you should too. They're all clean, they're great, they're healthy, they're full of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Welcome to leg day. Yeah, let's go. My boy Scotty. Let's go. Oh, 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 yeah, we What's up? All right, I'm back. I just went grocery shopping. I want to show you some ideas. Stuff that I actually spent just at $70 for that if you're on a budget, especially starting on a nutrition program, but I, I just got some basic essentials just to kind of show you some things that you could use to start your program. And here they are. So what I have here is just your basic chicken thighs, skin on. I could remove the skin if I want to. However, I don't because I actually have a need for a little bit more fats in my particular program right now. But if you're starting off a program and if you've had a high calorie intake of about, let's say, 3,000 to 5,000, like I said earlier, then this is not going to hurt you in the beginning. In fact, it's going to be a lot less calories than you've been consuming and it actually will help your energy levels along with the complex carbohydrates that you should be eating things like these baked potatoes i got jazz and rice so obviously i had this bag already and i didn't need to buy any more because i got some prepared in the refrigerator already that i need to eat uh, some salad for those night meals i eat five meals a day bare naked energy canola that i mix with the protein powder and the half a cup of oatmeal for breakfast is in the morning i get a lot of eggs because in one meal i'll take in about eight eggs with 60 counts, that's probably gonna last me about seven days exactly. So I try to keep the red meat down to no more than two times per week. Our bodies do hold on to red meat a little bit longer, and as you can see, this is a sirloin, but there's a little bit more fat on there, but I still need that high fat. I get some fish, some salmon. I use these olives to place in my salads that I have here. I got me a low fat dressing right here that I'll use to consume. So these cheddar rice crisps I'll use as a carbohydrate also. Sometimes to eat with my eggs or sometimes I'll eat it as a, as a part of my meal while I'm preparing something in the evening. Like if I'm behind on uh, you know maybe needing the meal prep and I'm down on meat and I gotta cook it and while I'm waiting on that, I'll probably munch on some of these. You know, in one serving it's 22 grams of carbohydrates. That's 18 pieces. I can probably do a serving and a half and still stay within my carbohydrate intake for the day. All right guys. This is just some helpful tips and some advice when you start your nutrition program. Uh, we'll talk to you here in a little bit. Another really important thing to remember, stay active. Find things to do around the house. Any of those projects you've been putting them off, do them now. You know, Clean things up, don't wait. Clean it up right away. When you get finished cooking, clean your pots and pans right away. Wash your dishes right away. 
things in the yard. Instead of riding a lawnmower, start pushing it. This will speed up the process, but it also keep you consistent with your program and start increasing your energy levels. The human body is so intelligent, the more activity you do, the more energy it's gonna start giving you because of the foods that you're eating and you're feeding your system ample energy with the right kinds of foods. Go outside with your kids. You know, actively play with them every single day if you can, okay? Always make time for things that will increase your steps throughout the day. Go for walks. You know, if you're at work, take the stairs if you can at all possibility. All right, I'm gonna bring this video to a close. I wanna appreciate everybody for watching. I hope that the tips I was able to give you will help you get started on your weight loss and cutting program. Guys, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe. Michael Cherokee, out.